for treats and Norton are on the show tonight. I had some nice brownies I was going to enjoy. And uh, both of them smashed them right as they were coming out. They smashed them with their stupid Brazil AIDS hands and ruined my brownies. And now I can't eat them. So I hope you're happy, guys. Thanks. Well, the big story this weekend was the damn hurricanes at Florida. You know, I'm not going to call it Hurricane Francis because I hate that we always give these hurricanes names. They're all the exact same. They don't deserve a tip of the hat to their humanity or individuality. Or if that's the point of naming them. So who is to blame for hurricanes? Nature, people say, but isn't nature like God's system preferences? I mean, see, usually for war or evil, people give God the excuse. They go, well, that's man's will going against God's will. But what about this? You can't even say it. it's like a man's will. It's not like we hit Miami and Lauderdale because they're decadent. What about the Florida panhandle? They got hit, too. Those poor mullet heads didn't do anything to anybody. <laughs> they got the worst of Florida. They never get the good things. Why'd you have to hit them, God? They're not lying on South Beach topless, you know? They're not in Key West performing sodomy and street rituals. They're just God-fearing people. You got them running around Walmart looking for plywood twice a year. Now, what do you have against Florida, God? I used to think you had a reason. I used to think it was Jimmy Buffett, but he moved to L.A. You're still hammering him. Okay, God, we get it. You don't like Florida. Move on. Let it go. Stupid treats. Well, let's look at the media's coverage of that Russian school terrorist attack. They haven't mentioned terrorists once or the word Muslims. And never they said like Arabs. They never say any of these things. Why is that, do you think? Probably because behaving this way is just such an anomaly for Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> They're normally very peaceful, rational people. And to see them acting like this, I mean, it's well, just I think we all see. know the uh, Muslims do control the media, though. <laughs> <laughs> I Ted like Koppel. That. Well, what do you think about that? Uh, don't you think it's just more political correctness? Like people are, they're really just afraid to say like, hey, this is like a Muslim thing. Not that it's all well, say, say they, say who they is. I don't know. The Jews, the media, what do you want? What? Say who Excuse they are. Me, why would, why the Jews want the Jews? People? What is that? Why, why do the Jews not want to say Muslims for everything? I don't they know. Don't they they, they would say Timothy McVeigh was they a Muslim if they could if it was Jews. <laughs> all right, then let's just say white people. Just say white people. The left. the left. White people in the left. Excuse why is it the left? Because, because they're, they're Muslims. Right. Muslims are saying it either. That's, that's yes, right. They are. They're not no, saying they're, they're not, Muslims. No one is saying Muslims. Why because our no country it? is so afraid of offending anybody that you can't identify anybody by even when they identify themselves by something, you're still not allowed to say it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> people but you gotta say people they they're Muslims, man. And but see, they this country's starting to get this thing where wait, Muslims and Islam Really, let's just say Arabs, man. Let's not, let's stop trying to beat around the bush with this religion. We're not mad at Muslims. No one's mad. They're well, mad at Farrakhan. I am. Has the biggest Muslim yeah, population, but no one, Why they're not are? Arabs, but no one cares about Indonesian people. They, they don't, no one Muslim. looks at them. Where was Bali? They were Arabs in Bali. In Bali, who, who committed the, uh, the terrorist attack well, we in the nightclub? Look at them like that! Say an anomaly to start the like show that. off ever again, I'll punch you right there. Wow, that was a good word. No. no. Leslie, it's through the whole crowd and startled now, my heart. Here's the, <laughs> the deal is, it's these Muslims who do not value life. We're not they, talking they, about the Muslims, we're talking about all media won't say Muslim. Why is that? I don't know. I don't like the fact that they don't want to attack the, what happened? the religion. That's a hard word to say. What no, because all co all they media don't is so the religion. It's the religion. No, it's not because they attack the Catholic it's Church. Every so, time they attack the Catholic Church, it's the Catholic Church. Because, it's, because Catholic people are white. You know this goofy country. That's it's what I'm white saying. White people yeah. are pussy with You're not even fun no more. That's get what I'm rid saying. of white people. Be <laughs> don't useless. get rid of us. We're not useless. You, you just Without us, you wouldn't be driving your SUV with this new Sally and your yeah. nice... Yeah. Oh, oh, without you, 300 years ago. Now you're just... Your time oh, is up. Hush. And you still haven't paid white people back for the free ride over here you got. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Let them laugh, stupid. <laughs> oh, a free from Africa. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> a few months ago, reparation. A few months ago, the New York Transit Authority, giving speaking of an example of... Told a Sikh employee he couldn't wear his turban, so he had a heart attack about that one. After negative press, <laughs> the TA has come up with a turban. I, I wish this was a joke, but I'm wearing it right now, and it's not. It's going to be something like this. I'm not kidding. Like this. I swear to God. I'm not kidding. This is not a joke. But it's not a joke. It is a joke. I swear to God. It's true. It's absolutely true. It's but it's true. true. But he knew that's what that's just. <laughs> but did they actually be wearing this? They get murdered, man. Somebody Nick, kill somebody in this well, show, you know, man. No, it's ridiculous. I mean, the fact that you, you take a job and that's a uniform. I mean, I'm Catholic, 
but you don't see me wearing a priest molesting a kid on my head. You know, right? So actually, I, I do you see, can that. see that. Yes. It's on my website. <laughs> <laughs> But don't you think we've gotten like well, just anybody, that is, that's anybody that says? But Judy, it is the left that has set this. Of course, it's your, left. Why it's your why responsibility. Are you not, the because I'm you're not. the only one that comes close to the left that we can represent yeah. them. Anyway, and every time I ask you to, you turn on me. Go ahead. Yeah. You, it's your responsibility. Every time we make fun of certain people, it's your responsibility to let people know that the Sikhs don't like. The Arabs that we don't like. They don't like the same people. Sikhs and Indians. Right. We got to say that. still doesn't change. These dudes don't like those. They uh, don't like don't it. Like. But guess what? Even though I love the Sikhs, yes, they're great. Too bad. Now you're here. You wear the stupid transit cap. That's insulting, Look, man. <laughs> pretty soon McDonald's will have hats like this when we go. You know what the no, problem is? No, no, here's the thing. No more people wearing religion. Stop with the religion. I don't like going to the airport and seeing the ladies in the burkas. No, it's scary. Ever. No more. <laughs> No, it's scary. Nobody wants to hear a guy in a turban say, next stop, World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's wrong. That last stop, yeah. World Trade Center. Yeah. That is wrong, dude. Ooh. All right, Muslims. Speaking of clothes. <laughs> that is wrong. I don't like the fact that there's a little part of you that actually thinks you look cute in that thing on your head. <laughs> Days of thinking I look cute. A little ended there is five percent of you that thinks that you kind of look all right. No, there's not. Yes, I'm there finished stupid. and I know it. Unlike you, you didn't just. As I on, said many times, at least once, I knew what it felt like to be good looking many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you never knew that. Uh, we'll be right back. I don't like the way you ended this. <laughs> Now, Patrice and Norton are in a real argument. Did it ever occur to you maybe it's calm up and smashing my brownies, you two scumbags? Each week we take a... I really stink. <laughs> Each week we take a look at some of the movies that opened over the past weekend. The first movie is Paparazzi, which was produced by Mel Gibson. Here's a clip. When your name is up in lights, the cameras never stop shooting. Don't take pictures of my son. <laughs> One good shot deserves another. I've now got the dead paparazzi that were involved in your accident. Not so bad, isn't it? Paparazzi. Now, isn't this one of those movies from like 10 years ago they should have made? Like, oh, the paparazzi's out of control. Now it's like, oh, who cares? It's over. It's First good. of all, it's unbelievable. We, we all know the paparazzi would never cause a car accident. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I like, one time I was watching that, I was watching that, uh, Paparazzi like on celebrities on yeah. and Tony Danza goes, Hey, what's up? He looks over oh, with the camera, punches the guy in the face. Now that's funny. Mel Gibson <laughs> Mel Gibson produced this. Yes. Um so of course all of the paparazzi are Jews. <laughs> I would like that I like that joke, but I would like it better if your chair wasn't swiveling like your William yeah. F. Buckley Jr. <laughs> How Mel Gibson produced what am I supposed Josh, to just sit there and look into my teeth. I have to talk like it's fairly natural. That actually looks like a nice turtle. Are you saying that this looks like it sucks just because you have to say that? It actually looks like a decent movie, man. It does look like a decent movie. <laughs> it looks it, it looks like it's entertaining. Oh. Tommy Sizemore's in it, and that white boy that's he's on the come up. He's a good actor, man. Who? That white uh, what's that kid? Whatever his name is. What's white, his name? The white, the white, kid. white boy. It's Tommy Sizemore and a white boy in it. Who's this? First of all, don't call him Tommy. You don't know him. <laughs> yeah. Second of all, Thomas. call him one he is a white man with mass. I don't say boy. <laughs> Our next movie is Vanity Fair. Papa Rossi looks like it's going to be good, man. Our next movie is Vanity Fair. This one, you, your people will love this one. Vanity Fair starring <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. Take a look. Lonely life. Becky Sharp longed to live in a world that was out of her reach. Now she will enter the world she always dreamed of. Where polite society is turning out to be anything but. And the higher she climbs, the harder it will be to stay one step ahead of her past. Vanity Fair. Now, is this just a rip off of Red, White, and Blonde? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Judy? Don't pretend well, you're not going to see this movie because we know you are. I, uh, my friend Lynn loved it. She said it was great. Well, and what does that mean? That mean I trust my friend Lynn, and she said we don't it was know good. your friend. I'd rather what read the think? magazine. I don't know. I, I'm gonna. Do you, do you think? Do, does anyone? I like have... those period <laughs> movies. Really? Um, <laughs> shut up, you pig! <laughs> so <laughs> disgusting. That That's what I was thinking. I can't it's, stand it. it's another way of saying chick flick. Yeah, yeah. Julie's movies. Julie's monthly, <laughs> Julie's <laughs> monthly movie. <laughs> let's just sit with mine. It was a great one. Those Next is, uh, let's yeah. just take my choice on that. It was perfect. Um, <laughs> my joke on it, which was yeah. great. Uh, 
Next is The Cookout, starring Tim Meadows, Queen Latifah, and Danny Glover. Here's a oh, clip. Patrice is gonna Cousin love this. Cousin Todd got drafted. Drafted? Damn this war! Huh? You stand to make millions. Do you think things will change? We're moving on now. We're moving on How do you plan on celebrating? We're having a family cookout! Let's go! The Cookout. Okay. A lot of substance. How many more of these, uh, uplifting, you know, black movies do I have to see? Hey, man, look. <laughs> so, brother, so, family, so. Look out, look it, they could be. Grandma, mommy, that. They could be out, they could, they could be out shooting each other. It could be violence, man. It's, this is a fun loving family movie and you should go see it. But, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I will go see it, but I won't go hear it. It's probably. a, it's a period piece. Yeah, uh, it's too a bad. period movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go see if I have my period. Shot in my neighborhood. It's a period. <laughs> I don't Muslims. Know, I don't know if people are gonna accept this though. It's like kind of weird, like like Queen Latifah playing the sassy broad with corny people. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be too much of a risk for the public to accept. Well, I think it's. I think the reason we go see movies like Vanity Fair is because we don't want to see the period piece of today's period, which is. That. <laughs> and look at man, it's well, gonna bring some. It's gonna be more entertaining. <laughs> if you think that's a bad movie, right? Your people if, turn corners just like what, white people. Shut not, up. Uh, well, Every movie makes stinks like a white comedy now. No, what no, it doesn't. You? No, it doesn't. What happened to you? Yes, it does. What it happened to you? Well, because finished. you know They're why? Because like white. Because white people. The people, who, white people, the, people who, the people who run Hollywood. All right. right. I have had it with your anti Semitism. Oh! I'm not, I said the people who run Hollywood. You went like this. The people. He said, I love you, Judy. All he said was the people who the run people, Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> he said the people who run Hollywood. The people who run Hollywood. The people who run Hollywood. They're not. They don't. Nobody's saying what they are. They're trying too hard. They're, they're trying very hard right. to, all, to get no. to get the the young white dollar. No. I mean, I have to tell you, it's all about young money. black dollars. Is not we're not big at the movies. You mean the Benjamins? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not big at the movies. We're big in clothes and we're big in, in uh, sneakers and clothing. We're not big at the movies, man. And so you're bad, period. We'll, you we support. Wait, we support the first two weeks of the movie. Yeah. The next three weeks is for cleaning up the theater see. from all the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And it's still got the right amount of political correct white people going, oh my God, look at the wildness of their behavior. That's what I'm you sure do. At the end, I'm sure at the end, the white people. Why do you always act like white people are cool? You're not cool. This one always acts like, oh, Queen Latifah, look. No. White guys are the, 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 the goddamn straight men of life. But we're not, you're, we're you're not, not shocked, funny. But we're not shocked by black people dancing. But you know me. That's <laughs> why. Right. You are shocked in Harlem or Bronx. What are you I put the boys in Harlem. <laughs> No, you don't. Yeah, how many times have gotten f***ed in Harlem? No, in Harlem. Harlem starts on 80th and 2nd Avenue. No, that's where he gets his horn. Don't tell me where I get horn. We'll be right back. <laughs>